Good morning, everyone. How are you doing? Today, I'm going to be ending the first chapter on data statistics, particularly the remaining three sections. Section number six on computers and statistical analysis, uh, section number seven on data mining, and finally, section number eight on ethical guidelines for statistical practice. So let's begin off with the section number six computers and statistical analysis. Statisticians, frequently they use um, softwares to basically perform the statistical calculation and computations, uh, which are required with uh, large amounts of data. For example, uh, computing uh, the average lifetime for the uh, 200 light bulbs in the Norris electronics. Example we saw yesterday, uh, in table uh, 1.5, it would re it would be uh, literally quite tedious without a computer. With uh, the help of magnetic card readers, barcode code, uh, scanners, and uh, point of sale terminals, most organisations uh, they obtain large amounts of, of of data on a daily basis. And even for a small local restaurant that uses touch screen monitors to enter orders and handle a billing and the amount of uh, the data collected can be very uh, significant. Uh, for large uh, retail companies, the share volume of data collected is hard to uh, conceptualize and figuring out how to effectively use these data to improve profitability is a challenge. For example, mass retailers um, such as Walmart capture data on 20 to 30 million transactions every day. Telecommunication companies such as France Telecom uh, generate over uh, 300 million um, call records per day and visa processes 6,800 payment transactions per second and approximately 600 million transactions per day. So storing and managing the transaction data is uh, uh, really a, a significant undertaking. The subject of data mining deals with methods for developing useful decision making information from large bases using a uh, combination of procedures from statistics, mathematics, and computer science. Analysts uh, mine data in in in, um, in the warehouse to convert it into useful information, hence the name uh, data mining. Just to let you know um, on data mining and to provide you uh, with additional uh, information on uh, the same section, that the major uh, applications of data mining have been made by companies with uh, a strong, you know, consumer focus, such as uh, retail businesses, financial organizations, and communication companies. Uh, so data mining has been successfully used to help um, retailers, such as um, Amazon, Barnes and, and Noble, determine one or more related products that uh, customers who have already purchased a specific product are uh, also likely to purchase. Then when a, a customer logs on to the, com to the company's website and purchases a product, the website uses pop-ups to alert um, the customer about additional products that the customer is likely to purchase. In other applications, uh, data mining may uh, be used to identify customers 
who are likely to spend more than $20 on a particular uh, shopping trip. And these customers may um, then be identified as the ones to receive special email or regular uh, mail discount offers to basically um, encourage them to make um, their next shopping trip before uh, the discount um, termination date. Now, on the last section, ethical guidelines for statistical practice, ethical behavior is something we should strive for in all that we do, in everything, at every level. Ethical issues are rising statistics because of the important role statistics plays in the collection, analysis, presentation, and interpretation of data. In a, in a, a statistical study, unethical uh, behavior can take a variety of forms, including improper sampling, inappropriate analysis of the data, developing of misleading graphs, um, which um, happens um, so often, use of uh, uh, in inappropriate summary statistics, and slash or uh, biased interpretation of the statistical uh, results. As you begin to do your own statistical work, we encourage you to be fair, thorough, which is deep and profound objective and neutral as you collect data, conduct analysis, make oral presentations, and present written reports containing information developed. As a consumer of statistics, you should also be aware of the possibility of unethical statistical behavior by others. When you see statistics in newspapers, on televisions, on the internet, and so on. It is a good idea to view the information with some doubtfulness, skepticism, always being aware of the sources as well as the purpose and the object objectivity or neutrality or impartiality of the statistical or statistics provided. It is quite important to be fair, thorough, objective and neutral, and skeptic at the same time, when it comes to figures, numbers, that you are exposed to on a regular basis. For example, here, the American Statistical Association, um, the nation's uh, leading professional organization for statistics, a statistician um, develops uh, the report um, ethical guidelines for uh, statistical practice to help uh, statistical practitioners make and communicate ethical decisions and assist students in learning how to perform statistical work responsibly. So the report basically contains um, 67 guidelines organized into eight topic areas. Professionalism, responsibilities to funders, clients, and employees, uh, responsibilities in publication and testimony, responsibilities to research subject, subjects, responsibilities to research team colleagues, uh, responsibilities to other statisticians or statistical practitioners, responsibilities regarding allegations of misconduct and responsibilities of employers, including organizations, individuals, attorneys, or other clients employing statistical uh, practitioners. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Goodbye.